Hi, I'm Dave Iker and welcome to the universe. Do you know about Asteroid Day? If you don't, you should. So turn on your mind and get ready for the real reality show. In 2014, Brian May, astrophysicist and founding guitarist of Queen, began working with filmmaker Greg Richters on a movie called 51 Degrees North. The film showcased the fictional strike of an asteroid into London. The next year at the Starmus Festival, Richters previewed the film and Asteroid Day was born. The effort was organized by Richters, May, astronaut Rusty Schweikert, and Danica Remy of the B612 Foundation. Asteroid Day is an international effort to bring attention to the need for more research on near-Earth asteroids, some of which are impact hazards to Earth. Each year, scientists, astronauts, artists, and a broad range of the public commemorate Asteroid Day. The event is held on June 30th to commemorate the Tunguska event, which flattened thousands of acres of forest in Siberia in 1908. Planetary scientists now know of more than 15,000 asteroids and comets near Earth. Of these, nearly 900 are larger than one kilometer across, and some 157 of these are potential hazards to Earth. Earth history is replete with impacts by asteroids and comets, but we don't see much of the evidence due to resurfacing. The most famous large impact, the KPG impact, struck the Yucatan Peninsula 66 million years ago, killing off the dinosaurs. Other impacts will no doubt take place in the future. Will we be ready? The organizers of Asteroid Day ask for a 100-fold increase in the detection and tracking of near-Earth asteroids. Such a survey would give us a robust inventory of the space rocks around us, many of which could pose danger. Just being aware of such impacts does not mean they will cease. Won't you help to raise awareness of this very serious threat to humanity? I'm proud to be associated with Asteroid Day as its editor-in-chief. For more, please see asteroidday.org. And I'll leave you with an image of my own asteroid, 3617 Iker, which I assure you lies in the main belt and will not crash into Earth. Remember, whatever you do, look out for low-flying asteroids. I'll see you next time on The Real Reality Show.